This is Camp Kennedy. What's up everybody, Kenan here, and I thought I'd just show you what's going on at around my pond here. <laughs> There's always so much happening, a little shaky here, that's a great blue heron. Uh, just looking out there trying to get something to eat, and uh, why don't we take a walk around the pond and see what's doing with all the critters out there. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, kind of a wet day, but that's alright. I figured this would be a decent little bonus video for everybody. And I can show you some of the inhabitants uh, that are captives and some of the visitors I get to my pond. So first things first, let's start with one of my favorite areas of the pond. And this is kind of interesting because the grandest, the giant Asian wood turtle or giant Asian pond turtle, Heosemis grandis, they kind of made these burrows. Uh, they keep digging out under the roots of these pine trees and this is their kind of home. They like to hang out in here. There's a female, two females right there. They're gonna go away, they're a little shy when I start invading their, their habitat. But these are great. There, there's one in the back too, my goodness. So many of these here at Camp Cannon, and they all love to kind of hide out under these overhangs. And they dig them deeper and deeper, and I wonder if that's ever gonna ruin the trees. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that would be kind of a bummer if the trees topple on into the uh, pond, but then hey There's a cool little basking area. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's somebody. Hello. I Love these tortoises. Excuse me. I love these turtles uh, because they got a lot of personality. They're fun very active and uh, They do very very well here at Camp Cannon. There's another one way back in there So uh, let's continue our little tour Leave those guys alone. You never know what we're going to find when walking around, especially on a rainy day like this. I'm glad we're getting the rain. We've needed it. Uh, oh, here's a funny plant. So this is a, a weaver's bamboo, right? It's supposed to stand straight up. I took a comb from that bamboo back there. See, that's all bamboo. I uh, took it, planted it, but this stuff never grew because the grandis eat all the new growth so it doesn't have a chance to grow. Look at this. This is all, this is how wide the base should be by now. But unfortunately the grandis keep eating it. So I guess it's a good food source, but um, this is the original graft that I made of it. And uh, well, unfortunately, the grandis decide they wanna eat it. Oh, how about a big grandis there? Look at the size of that guy. Woo, you're hanging out. What's up, big daddy? The males are much larger than the females in this species. So that is a big old grandis. Let him do his thing. It's kind of wet, sticky. Let's go through the grass and see what we got. You never know what you're gonna find when walking around the pond. Sometimes we get snakes. I think, honestly though, today we're gonna just be finding turtles wandering about. Here's my windmill. No longer works, but I do like climbing from time to time to hang out, see what's going on. Let's see. Hey, look at this, guys. This is why I do these walks, man. Holy smokes, we have a grandis that fell into this well. I gotta seal this thing off. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked that we got here. I know, I know, you're upset, I know. Oh my, this is dangerous. I gotta pick it up by the front. Don't wanna get bit. Oh, I saved that female. There you go, lady. I just helped you out. Uh, that would have certainly been a problem. I've actually lost turtles in there before. I'm gonna put this thing on top of it. My goodness, man. I'm so glad I wandered over here. Now, you want to see something crazy? Uh, all these grandis are from the Turtle Survival Alliance, okay? Look at this. This is, you're gonna be blown away, people. All right, so these grandis were taken from the food markets from Southeast Asia, and they were sent to me. So I'm gonna show you something that you probably won't believe. Some of you may know about this already, but what they do is they drill holes in the shells. See this? That's a hole that was drilled into its shell and they tether them. They either hold them uh, tied up to a stake or they suspend them <coughs> and they're just hanging in the food markets alive. Isn't that brutal? Look at that pretty turtle. I think they're beautiful. Uh, a lot of people think they're boring uh, because of their coloration, but I think they're just amazing animals. And here's another. This is actually a notch marking it from the Turtle Survival Alliance. Uh, that's their marking 
So there is a Grandis that we just saved from kind of hanging out in that, uh, in that little well area. Here's another one. Here's another male, big male. They love walking around on rainy days. So I'm pretty psyched to be doing this walk. I knew we'd find something interesting, people. The electric fence, one, two, three wires that go around the, the whole two and a half acres. Uh, this is kind of an area most people don't get to see at Camp Kennan. I'll be honest, it's one of the uh, areas I really kind of get back to. I haven't done much work back in here. I'd like to develop it more. Um, but, you know, things take time. So luckily for me, I've got time. You know, uh, cypress trees are growing up nicely. Beautiful. Lots of habitat for the turtles to walk around in. Another large male grandis. Uh, alrighty. These are such cool turtles. So you can call them the giant Asian pond or giant Asian wood turtle. Uh, Heosemis grandis is the name. Look at this. They're all over the place. They are everywhere. Doing their thing. That's a female. See your dainty little tail. Gosh, I don't know if we're going to find anything else interesting, though, other than Grandis. But you know what? Thanks for keeping me company on this bonus video. Oh, I'm going to have to fix this. This is why we do these walk-arounds. I got to get to this. Luckily, I got my neighbor's fence here, too. I got to put board along the bottom here. Lots to do on the farm, people. Doesn't take care of itself, that's for sure. But it's good you do these little walkabouts. Okay, we're going through the jungle. I remember moving here back in 2000 and 2004 and these trees were tiny and now it's as though they've kind of grabbed each other and formed a canopy. It's pretty awesome. All right. I don't mow in here. No point. Oh, we got Solcata hanging out on this rainy day. There's Brutus. <laughs> well, just a little video for you to keep you held over until the next episode of Camp Kennan comes on Tuesday. So I hope you enjoyed our little hangout session. I'm going to get in and get this camera dried off because, as you can imagine, uh, electronics and water, no bueno. I do need to invest in a waterproof camera. Hey, here's something cool. This was a rescued eastern box turtle. How's that? This guy's walking about. So good to see you again. He lives out here, pretty eastern box turtle, one of my favorite box turtle species. Um, grew up in Long Island, New York, where these guys uh, were found. They're more endangered nowadays. But uh, Terrapine, Carolina, Carolina. And then there are some subspecies, like the three-toed box turtle, the Florida box turtle, the Gulf Coast box turtle, all subspecies of the eastern box turtle but none in my opinion are as beautiful as this animal right here awesome and they are so active after rains they'll be looking for little bugs and berries and all kinds of little things to snack on so it's awesome to see this animal doing so well here it's been here for a few months and i love to keep one box turtle uh they're so beautiful all right so there you have oh and then there's lumpy <laughs> so we got box turtles we got tortoises. We got ourselves a bonus video, everybody. Okay, have a fantastic Sunday, and we will be back with some more Camp Kennan action. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook under Camp Kennan, and if you want to support our channel, head on over to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. All right, everybody, see you later.